Hello everyone! This video is going to be a little different from my usual videos. In this video, I'll be unboxing a Tokyo Treat box and trying the snacks inside. Tokyo Treat did send me this box for free, but all thoughts and opinions are my own. So Tokyo Treat sent me a box a really long time ago, and in that video, you only got to see my reactions to the treats. All my siblings were so excited when they heard I was getting another Tokyo Treat box, so today, my sister Riggin is joining me. <laughs> Poof! <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> She's here. I'm here. So, you can say hello. Hello. This is Reagan. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> um, if you want to know more about Reagan, you can check out my Meet My um, Siblings video. Uh, if you want to learn more about her and my other siblings. <laughs> I already pre-opened the snacks and laid them all out for me and my sister to try so that'll be easier and more convenient. And I needed to film close-ups on everything before filming. But I don't know what anything tastes like. Uh, so yeah, let's start trying some treats. Snacks. Snacks. I got yeah. snacks. Okay. Look, it kind of stinks. <laughs> 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 what? What smells? Oh, I think it's the garlic onion chips. It's chocolate. And chocolate. And I can smell the grape. Ooh. That's it's smells like <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the garlic onion chips. The, the Doritos. Okay, so I'll let you pick which treat we try first. Which one should we try? I want to try that. The chocolate? <laughs> okay. okay. Should we wait for that? Uh, we can try the chocolate first. So this first one we're trying is a mini chocolate bat. This is a fun and yummy treat that features five mini baseball bat chocolates. Baseball lovers and non-sports fans alike can enjoy this one. Okay, so I'm really excited to try this one because it's chocolate and it looks really good. I was expecting it to be crunchier, but it's actually kind of soft. I don't really think the chocolate is much like I need more chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I need more chocolate. And that's the way the other bottle is going to be. It's okay. I think it's because it's so soft. I was expecting it to be more crunchy, but it does taste good. I'll eat them. <laughs> <laughs> this soft corn snack is inspired by the Japanese dish Okonomiyaki. <laughs> Okonomiyaki is a popular Japanese dish similar to a pancake made with a mixture of ingredients like cabbage, egg, meat, cheese, onion, and seafood. This is fishy and corny. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to expect now. Okay, one, two, three. That's not, oh, bad. It's not that bad. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. They have a bit of an aftertaste. They do. That aftertaste not. It's not that bad though. It's better than I was expecting. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I was expecting a really weird flavor. Okay, so now you pick. What about the gummies? Oh, the gummies might be good. Oh, wait. Oh, it's Man. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, I've only ever heard a song about him. I guess he's a superhero. Ampan Man wants to join you on your beach day. Bring him along for a yummy and juicy grape snack. What fun little gummies. They're very sticky. They're super sticky. You gotta get the plastic off. <laughs> Well, maybe I'll just try, try taking a bite out of it. I'll just take this corner that's exposed. It tastes like a vitamin. <laughs> it reminds me of these little like grape um, uh, lollipops mom used to get when we were little to try to help sore throats. Mm, I, don't almost, I don't know what that is. Though. I don't know if she ever got you guys those. It's a weird, like, really artificial aftertaste. <laughs> they all have weird aftertastes so far. <laughs> Crushed pote po Poteco four pack. This four pack features a salty potato ring snack. The salt is from Okinawa Prefecture in the south of Japan. Okinawa is famous for its tropical weather and beautiful sandy beaches making this salty snack the perfect beach treat. Okay, so one, two, three. Mm, it tastes like a chip. It does. They almost kind of taste like Pringles. I don't think anything tastes like, what are they called? They're like tube, oh. and they come in like green and like orangey color. They're tuna shaped, and they have a hole down the middle. Huh, they kind of kind of boxy-ish. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not sure. You ate them many times. I, I have. <laughs> you have ate it before. 
Hmm. You'll buy something a big chip bag. Oh, 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 um, like the carrot, spinach. Yeah, those, those things. They yeah, do those. <laughs> they do taste like those. Uh, so we also have this bubble gum, uh, but I don't want to waste it because we're trying all the snacks. So we'd only chew it for like a few seconds and then probably spit it out. And my little sisters really like bubble gum. And mm -hmm. so we'll save this for them and for you. <laughs> we'll save one for you. Uh, but you should smell it. It smells really good. Oh. Doesn't it smell good? Um, so the sour peach gum. These peachy gumballs are the perfect combo of sweet and sour. Hold on to your taste buds. You are in for a sour treat. <laughs> so I guess they're really sour. And we also have uh, this soda chewing gum. And I'm also going to save this for my siblings since they all like gum. Um, we love taking a soda to the beach, so these soda flavored candies are perfect. When you eat, their sweet and sour taste envelops your mouth and leaves you with a refreshing soda taste and a hint of lemon. Yummy! Does that, does that uh, I guess say it, gum? I, I guess it's not gum. I thought it was gum. So we I guess can try that then. We can try it. I'm scared to put the whole thing in my mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> and go. Oh, it's really soft. Mmm. I don't know what I think of it. It's got a falling apart in the size. Mmm. It's really sour. It's definitely lemony. <laughs> it's really sour though. <laughs> I feel like I'm not reacting at all. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's not that sour. You're just sitting there like, mm, it's not that sour. And I'm over here like. We try um, the Doritos. But I guess you can pick one. Which one do you want to try? The Doritos. Okay, we'll try the Doritos. This month you can enjoy this super popular Doritos flavor. These classic chips are packed with sour cream and onion goodness. You won't be able to put the bag down. Let's see. They have a strong That's flavor. Sour. Hmm. The flavor is really strong. That is. Oh my goodness. Mm. I don't know if I can handle it. It's definitely sour cream and onion. <laughs> But like it's slightly sweet in a way, you know? Yeah, it is kind of slightly sweet. Like it's a little sweet. Let's have a drink that if, if you just have a taste in your mouth and no crunchy, it kind of just tastes as gross. <laughs> tonkatsu sauce on my bow. This month's on my bow is inspired by that delicious tonkatsu sauce you get when you order deep fried pork cutlets in Japan. The sauce is similar to a workature sauce and is made from a mixture of vegetables. While the sauce is not for tonkatsu, it's actually vegetarian. Okay, so one, two, three. Mm, it's not bad. It's kind of spicy on the end of my tongue. It is a little spicy. It's got a little kick to it and it's like slightly sweet. This is oh my sugar rusk. Oh, are they sweet? Oh, they do smell sweet. Don't forget to bring the snack with you on your beach day. The sweet corn snack has a yummy, crispy, crunchy texture and is finished with a sweet, sugary flavor. One, <laughs> two, three. Mm, not it's not bad. It kind of tastes like a rice cake. You know, like the caramel ones? Mm-hmm. It's actually really good. That's actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm, I like those. Those are good. I almost want another one. Yeah, I know. I'm like, where's the bag? <laughs> <laughs> there's also this little lollipop snack. I'm also going to save this for my siblings because there's only one, so I'll give it to someone who really, really wants it. Um, let's see. It's Sherbet Parrot Cider. Dip into this delicious powder candy that pops in your mouth. The fizzy sweetness fills your mouth like a fizzy cider. Chocolate mint candy. Mint lovers, you're in for another special treat inspired by Hokkaido chocolate chip mint ice cream. These little hard candies have a chocolatey mint outside and are filled with a chilled powder center. Isn't chocolate chip mint ice cream the best flavor for a beach day? Let's try it. Don't Did you it. just bite it? <laughs> it definitely is like a mint chocolate. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the center is like though. And did you get to the center? No. Oh, you haven't gotten to the center yet? Oh. Oh, you can tell me what the center tastes like. It is more powdery. I got slightly more minty. Mmm. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have mint peach chocolate Kit Kat. I'm really excited to try this one. Peach Mint Kit Kats. This month's Kit Kats are a super exciting and unique flavor. They start off with a deliciously sweet peach flavor and finish with delightful minty freshness. These Kit Kats were specifically designed with a mint flavor that appeals to all taste buds. What do you think of them? I don't know. Let's see what we think. <laughs> they smell so good. Mmm. -hmm. I really like these. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be so sad when they're all gone. Because <laughs> like it has like this light fruitiness. 
Mm -hmm. And it's kind of sweet, but like kind of sour. And then you get the mint flavor. That's my favorite thing in the whole box. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> we also have the cider soft serve DIY snack. What a better way to enjoy the beach than with soft serve. You can create your own soft serve ice cream cone with the DIY snack kit. It tastes like cider soft serve. Pull your brush your teeth like brush your teeth kid. <laughs> Pull your brush your teeth. <laughs> brush your teeth. <laughs> it just kind of looks like that. But, um, wait, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> save. I'm gonna save the kit for my siblings to do because I feel like they'll have a lot of fun with it. So I'm gonna save that for them. Let's see. You can hold the soda. I'll grab the cup. Power Ranger pose. Ooh. <laughs> Power Ranger. <laughs> it's like it's big in my hand, so. So next we have this melon cream soda. If there's one Japanese drink you have to try, it's melon cream soda. This green soda is super popular in Japan and is enjoyed by children and adults alike. But what does this mysterious melon flavor soda taste like? Pure happiness. <laughs> I don't know what that tastes like. <laughs> I don't know what pure happiness tastes like. I, I bet it tastes like cake. <laughs> pure happiness tastes like cake. I feel like we just hold them both. Oh, it's kind of, the, the can feels different. Oh, it's fizzing. It's fizzing. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's all over my lap. Oh, wanna go grab a towel? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I got melon soda everywhere. It fizzed up a whole bunch. I didn't even shake it. It's all over my pants. And all over the book. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need to change my pants. But that was a lot of fizz. That was a lot of fizz, dude. It smells really good. It smells melony. Oh, my pants are all wet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now let's try the soda. Oh, it, it's interesting. It tastes like honeydew. Yeah, it is like, it's got like the texture of, oh. of cream soda. Well, what's that again? That just went over melon. Um, I think it's melon cream soda. So it has like the texture of cream soda. Mm. Got a flavor of melon. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of this. Mm -hmm. I kind of like it. Like it's okay. Okay, so Reagan wants to try the gum. We've tried everything. And so now she can try the gum. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Huh. It's good. I like it. So those are all the snacks that came in this Tokyo Treat box. Thank you so much Tokyo Treat for sending us a box. We had a lot of fun trying them I think. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> and my siblings and the rest of my family members will really enjoy getting to try the treats in the box. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! <laughs>